Divine Feminine. What's up? What it do, what it do, what it do with your beautiful heart, your beautiful soul, and your beautiful spirit, your beautiful smile, Divine Feminine. What's going on with you? We about to find out. Now, Divine Feminine, I have my power balls. Power balls, power stones. And these are stones that I purchased at my metaphysical store. And when I first went in there, the very first time I just bought one, then each time I would go in there, I would buy more and more and more to where now I have a little bag full of them. And they all have different words on them, if you know what the power stone is. This is a power stone. Okay. They are real crystals, made from real crystals and stones from the earth. This one right here, I purposely leave the back on it so I remember which stones they are. I can't even read it. I'm gonna have this. It's 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 something dope. I don't remember. I can't see it. It's coming off. But it's a green stone. You can use it for for uh, growth, love, abundance, and fortune, and great things to come into your life for you to grow. Now, I pulled three of these stones out here. The first one that came out is accept. It's something that you have to accept that's going on in your life. You have to be strong when, and when you accept it, it it's going to take strength. Something you may have to, to deal with, but this is the strength one. Okay. And this is the blue adventure. Okay. The Spirit is saying to use your wisdom. Okay. Pray and ask for wisdom. Um, now, the first three cards that came out in this reading. Somebody may come to you and want you to accept something. Spirit may want you to accept something. Spirit is about to, oh, okay, Spirit is about to bless you with some wealth, okay, accept it, 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 it may be unexpected, accept it, you may go to your bank account and find some lump sums of money in your bank account, accept it. Somebody just may walk up to you and, and, and offer you some money. Accept it. Something somebody's going to offer you. And when they offer it to you, please do not post it on social media. When you receive this wealth, please do not post it on social media. Okay? That's nobody's business, but you and the Lord, okay? Because there's somebody that's going to be in your energy. They're going to say they, they're going to want to, they, they either, is saying I'm your puppet. So they may try to come at you in a way that Anything you want them to do, they're going to do for you. You can accept that, but don't tell them about your wealth. Okay? That was the first card. Or maybe you need to accept the fact that somebody really wants to be your puppet. So, we're going to see. Okay. What is it, Holy Spirit, 
that the collective needs to accept. If I've already previously shuffled these cards, I'm just shuffling them right in front of you, Divine Feminine. So what is it that Divine Feminine needs to accept? Somebody is done with that individual that's toxic. Somebody needs to accept the fact that someone is done with someone who they say they're done with. That's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. They're not having sexual relations no more with this person. Somebody's name could be Sandy. Somebody could have Sandy Brown here, Sandy Blonde here. Someone could like going to, going to the beach. But maybe this person who name is Sandy is toxic and this person is not having sex with them. But that don't, they, 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 they're going to come and tell you that. Because they know you done got wealthy, you got some sort of blessing or some sort of wealth have come to you. So they're going to tell you. It's a setup. Okay. There is also the energy of a Libra out here. There's the energy of a preacher, a pastor, a false pastor, a practitioner, somebody fake, minister, that's not real. She could be a false face minister, a fake minister, fake practitioner, somebody with the name Sandy. You wasn't in love with this person and you're not trying to strengthen no bonds with them. But this person is telling you they're your puppet. So this is where you're going to need the strength and to use wisdom. See that strength? Use wisdom when it comes to this situation. And pray for wisdom. Okay. But someone say they're done with this individual. Because they was toxic. They're not having sexual relations with this person no more. They're not strengthening bonds with whoever this person is, or this is you, collective. You getting, you're not strengthening bonds with this person. The way this card floated down, it's like you floated down like a little leaf from a tree. You're free. Ooh, like you, you're somebody is unstuck. Mind game. The letter A. You're not spending no more time with this person nor wasting time on this person. So they could be trying to send the evil eye to you, but you're protecting yourself. Okay. And because they're trying to they because they're trying to throw evil eye at you and you're protect, protecting yourself, they're having bad luck. Bad luck is surrounding them. Okay, because they try to set you up because they don't want it to be over with you. Mm -hmm. But see, this person rejected you. And you should be happy because rejection is protection. So they could have caught a spiritually transmitted demon. They could have caught a spiritually transmitted disease. They could have caught a spiritually, a sexually transmitted disease, a sexually transmitted demon. But because they projected their their rejection towards you, you was protected. So you ain't got that demon in you. You ain't got that spirit, whether it's a sexual uh, sexual demon or a spiritual demon. Now they mass is coming off. Mm -hmm. Somebody uh, has a lesbian lover that's lazy and that's a selfish individual. This lesbian lover had an abortion. 
there's a soulmate out here leo energy this lesbian lover could be a leo somebody is truly in love with this leo but they have deceptive behavior and they're unworthy of your love because they into the same sex just let the dust settle okay because you either either have wealth coming in or you've received some wealth and that relationship ended a long time ago going back to a, a old relationship because they're bored and miserable so they're only going back or you're only going back because you're bored and, remit and miserable think about what the reason was you break up with this person you're that miserable that you're going to go back to something that you 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 left somebody's name is kelly they money hungry this is why they're going back to the relationship because they could be money hungry and they bored and they miserable being by themselves divine feminine they may come in and realize that it was cheaper to keep her or they realize that you are divine feminine and they need you in their life they wasn't using their third eye when it came to you. Some of you are singers and people love to hear you sing. This person may even come back wanting you to sing. They may use your voice to wing you, to bring you back. Thieves getting caught with some sort of deceptive behavior. Secrets are about to be exposed. No, spirit says no. Because this person got what they planned your funeral and expected a payout. Insurance fraud. But it failed. You are not trapped, stuck, caged in this situation. It's up to you to leave. This person is going to come to you telling you they're sorry, but they still have deceptive behavior behind them. And they have narcissistic behavior. And they're doing sacrifice, blood magic spells to sacrifice you. Cross watcher, if you in here, what's up? Withdraw your energy. Divine feminine, you need to withdraw your energy from this person. Because they only, it only seems to me like they're coming towards you because you didn't got some sort of money. Do not post on social media that you got this money. Okay? Do not listen to what I said. Spirit, tell me more about this wealth for divine feminine where she don't need to be airing her business. Look what first split sudden wealth. Well, divine feminine, don't you tell nobody that you got this wealth. And when you get that wealth, don't forget to donate to your girl now. Okay, I'm giving you all this good information. Okay, so Holy Spirit, tell me, tell me about this wealth for the divine feminine. Tell me about this wealth for the divine feminine. And divine masculine, if you up in here, this could be your energy too. You could be a male with the divine feminine energy. Okay. The, the, the females can carry the male energy just as the males can carry a female energy. Okay. Masculine and feminine. And you can look up what what those characteristics are. I have them somewhere. Not in front of me. Um, so Holy Spirit, show me what's going on with the Divine Feminine. Your star, you're shining bright. If you tell these people that you got this wealth, they're going to dim your light. Expectation, mature. You could have a um, someone next to you. She's an older woman. Or 
or mature. She could be younger than you and mature than you. She may know more than you. She can be mature woman is an older woman. So she can be shit six months older than you. But she's older than you. Maybe you're expecting an apology from this person. Either she could be an Aquarius or you're gonna be an Aquarius. There's an Aquarius energy out here. Maybe you was expecting to be famous. You was expecting expecting to shine and stand out. But you have this woman right here. She behind you. But you're expecting to be a star. Maybe you're not talking to her and not telling her. She could be coming towards you to apologize to you. And she's a narcissist. Yeah, I'm sorry it's out here twice. And you have withdrawn your energy from this person. You are not trapped, stuck in this cage. In this situation, it's up to you to leave. Okay. Maybe you've made it up in your mind to leave. You've got some sort of sudden wealth. And now this person is telling you they're sorry. They could be writing you, writing you letters, trying to email you, trying to text you, telling you they're sorry. But you, you don't, you know, um, you're not on social media. It's like you could have blocked the situation. But you got some wealth. I'm going to pull three more power stones. Desire. Yeah, you're, you're expecting and you're desiring to be a star. You desire to be creative. You, you are creative, but you want it to be seen. You want it to be noticed. And you have a, a, a female right here. I don't know who she is. I'll find out. You're reaching clarity in the situation. Okay. Relax. Dream. Maybe, maybe this this older person. Maybe she's dreaming of apologizing to you, and she just having she just have it. You, it's like you accepted it. Who is this older woman? Who is this mature woman? Is this your mother? Someone you lived with? House in reverse? Did she kick you out? She's apologizing to you? Now because she didn't hurt that you got some money or something? Now she want to be your puppet? She want to do everything you want? You can have your way? Because this, this is a big amount of money that you got. This money can change your life. And she know that. So now she's apologizing. If this is a this is a relative, this is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Yeah, you're you're. This is why you're the privileged lady. You got some money. If you if if not money, you could have married into wealth, and now and and you could have your own shit. Now she's coming to apologize. And now you're seeing things more clear. Okay, clarity came out in the power stone. Okay. Spirit is saying relax. And to dream. Because you are privileged. You could have married into wealth or you could have, you could, um, it to pop my head. It won't pop. You could have uh, married into wealth, or your family could be wealth. You could be an heiress or something. And maybe um, I don't think nobody eighteen in here. I don't know if you eighteen hit the thumbs up button for me. If you've reached eighteen, and maybe. Uh, 
you 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 could be an heiress and, and you got your money and now this could be an aunt you stayed with or um it could even be a, a weird scenario where you was you you could have been adopted um and you could be fostered it's not for everybody but for somebody i feel like this is out here and whoever your parent was they may still be alive but they put you up for adoption and this person is wealthy and when you turn 18 you got this big ass lump sum of money made you wealthy and you have this aunt or somebody now this could have happened for somebody in the past you have this aunt who raised you and um i forgot because i had two little candles look how a candle it it just slimmed down like somebody's little tiny waist but if you had this um aunt who was who was over you she raised you she controlled you she's a narcissist and now you're over 18 you're probably 28 now and you could have received this money you had to use strength when it came to this woman you had to be strong she kicked you out of your house and that could have gave you strength or oh she cooked you she kicked you out of your out of her house and you either became famous or whatever it was she blocked or she tried to block she's she's mad because she kicked you out and you got a big lump sum of money or something and she she know about it look what flipped out we all know what this is you watch all the readers have this damn deck it's not a damn deck but every every not every reader but this is a very popular deck that the readers use sudden wealth the kipper deck okay So it's the energy of somebody being kicked out of a house that's privileged, okay? They got some sudden wealth and somebody's ex is looking at you, but they're not saying that. Oh, well, thank you, spirit. Okay, they watching me too. I'm about to get some sudden wealth. Well, thank you, spirit. I do have to move. Mm -hmm. And somebody's, somebody's ex karmic is watching you they may want to come apologize to you or this this ex somebody's ex is dreaming about apologizing to you they may not be what's the word they're, they're not dreaming about it they're thinking of ways if they apologize to you what's gonna happen but they haven't apologized mm -hmm. This mature man, this 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 older woman, it, she could be married. Here's the main female. Here's an uh, Aquarius energy that uh, may not be talking to you right now, or you may not be talking to them. This person may be an Aquarius, and they don't want you to shine. They gave you no choice but to stop these blockages that they was trying to put in front of you. Damn. Because when you got this money or maybe you, maybe you didn't say that you had this money. You cut their ass off. Damn. <laughs> you cut her off. 
You got clarity in the situation. You got strength. Mm -hmm. You accepted some shit. She can't create no more blockages for you because it is the money. Because it, she stutters. Somebody stutters. You stutter, divine feminine. Somebody stutters. Yep, she been trying to message you. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't answered. Yep, she wanna apologize to you, but you ain't. You like, uh, uh. You done blocked her on social media. Now she wanna be your puppet. letting her see this 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 woman could be she could have had planned your funeral these flowers on top of this planned the funeral she trying to apologize to you see them flowers see she could have had did some sort of had some sort of insurance out for you Okay, now I'm feeling like if something happened to your wealthy parent, she could have had did had something to do with it. Oh, oh. Okay, so they got with them and planned your funeral. But what I feel, this aunt, older sister, or somebody has something to do with the death. Of your 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 loved one who left you this money, right? She thought that he had her in his will or something. She thought that she made up some sort of fake ass insurance papers. But either he has some real shit. And and she um basically she got busted. She got busted. Because you was either on some, some paperwork or something. You was in a wheel or something. And she done found out that you done got this sudden well. Damn, thank you, spirit. Okay. Now this, I'm saying she, this could be a he. The roles can be reversed. Also, it can, it can, um, if I say he, it, it could be a she. If I say she, it can be a he. Okay, you have to take it where it resonates in your life. Okay. If there's the energy of a man sitting at home, He's one to apologize, or it could be it, this could be a man wanting to apologize to you. You ain't accepting him. You ain't accepting it. Nope. You are not. And they ain't getting none of your great fortune either. When they was with you, they didn't show no concern. Or if this is a, a whoever, they showed no concern for you. Whether it's your your man, your woman. Your sister, your brother, whoever it is, they didn't show no concern for you. Now they trying to mix, trying to message you. Some of you, this is an ex of yours, a karmic ex that was causing all sort of blockages and obstacles in your life. They either kicked you out of their house or something, and didn't know you got this money, and now they feeling stuck on stupid. You didn't post shit on social media, and don't. And you came to the conclusion and, and accepted the fact that they just was doing you dirty. Tell me more, Spirit. Yep, you've been enlightened. You happy. Maybe it was exposed. Maybe they found out. It was exposed to them that you got this money or this sudden wealth. Somebody's ex is watching, but they're not saying nothing.
It could have been some sort of custody battle when you was a child. Some something something with some money, and this aunt thought that she was gonna get it, or this feminine energy, this mature woman. She thought she was gonna get it. It came out that she was the main female who got what the sudden wealth. Yep. Yes. Yep. And she can't block you or cause no more obstacles in your life. No, she can't. Mm-mm. You cut her ass off, too. If you got this sudden wealth, you cut her off. She can't say nothing. Some of you, this could be, if you're a lesbian, this could be your uh, your partner. You cut their ass off, you cuss them out, and you cut them off. Some of them got so upset that they cut their hair. Because you have a new beginnings. And you move. And you ain't going back and forth with them no more because they was trying to cause blockages in your life. Mm-hmm. People in your community, they didn't show no concern for you either. They had you in a mental imprisonment, but you out of that shit now. They was unloyal. Mm-hmm. They wore a mask and you found out. They had you in a third party situation. But I see you moving on. You ain't in poverty no more if you was. They kicked you out the house with you and your child. They didn't give a fuck. And if this is a partner you was with, they didn't put no toil and labor in the relationship with you, but they didn't want to end the shit. And for somebody, this is going on right now. Okay? You rose above that situation. Somebody's secrets came out that they was unloyal. They was trying to keep you in a, in a, a relationship that was sinking. Mm-hmm. And if it if it's, it's uh, a family member, they tried to keep you in a in a situation with them. They tried to control you, but you moved over that shit. You and your child, you worked on yourself. You got a new job. Mm-hmm. You started focusing on your finances. You got you some good dick that came from out of town. Mm-hmm. This person was doing some sort of spell work to try to keep you from moving forward and you got the clarity in the situation. And you found out that this person is a snake. Some of you, this is your man, your main man. Mm-hmm. He getting karma. He put the relationship with you behind him because he was out doing something sneaky early in the morning and you caught his ass having sex with somebody. Okay, could have been another man. Or this man could be older. Or if it's not another man, this could be the energy of your person. He could be, you can't tell him shit. He didn't travel the world. He could be a little older than you. Or you could be older than him. But you can't tell him shit. He traveled the world. He, you know, this person likes to drive places. And now he's trying to message you. This is your husband for some of you. They broke your heart. Mm-hmm. They gave you tears. You went through a storm with this person. They had you in competition. They caused all sorts of setbacks in your life. Now they talking to people and they don't want to hear that shit. And the marriage that you was in, it was like an unhappy marriage. This person had a gambling addiction. Some of you, this could be your family members. But they don't want you to end because they want to continue to try to steal from you. They're a thief. And if your money is flowing, you know, not flowing so right, it's because this person been dwindling in it. Mm-hmm. Wanting you to keep giving them money. They want you to keep giving them money. Keep giving them money. And this is causing you from going down the pathway that you're supposed to be going to your Prince Charming. Okay? Prince Charming may be from another city or another state. This person wanted you in despair. They thought they gossiping shit was going to... You know, they evil eye when they talking to their friends about you because they mad because you ain't with them no more. You still got growth and stability. And the universe is blessing you because you have a giving energy and the universe watched you. So now you're about to receive some blessings. And that's the, this blessing is is the uh, is, is this sudden wealth. Mm -hmm. And your ex is mad because his money ain't flowing. You worked on yourself or you this money could come from a job. He was dealing with a, a narcissist, okay? 
this person now they're going to want to spend time with you they may even try to propose to you they're thinking about it because you got this sudden wealth yeah they're a clown this person may have you may have divorced them some sort of paperwork or documents birth certificates or something it's about to receive Trying to keep you confined in a situation or feeling trapped and you just looking and thinking about all this shit or you may be waiting for some paperwork. This person was not a gift to you and they could have been sick and didn't tell you. They ain't going to want to sign no divorce papers. If you if they know you have some money, they damn sure ain't going to want to sign no divorce papers just for the simple fact that they can say they was with you when you got this big ass money. I don't know what to um, what to say in a situation like that in a divorce. Um, when it comes to your money and them not wanting to sign no divorce papers, it's a way to get around it where you, they don't have to sign the divorce papers. You can still divorce they as far as I know. Because they can say something like they're entitled to your money, to your big winnings. What should, what should divine feminine do when this person tries to feel like they feel like they're entitled to their money? Inspire. Inspire them. Okay. Hope. Love. Kindness. So you have to inspire this person, love this person, and show kindness to them. But you still don't have to give them your money. You still don't have to tell them because you didn't do enough research when it came to this person. And all they was trying to do was keep you anchored down in a situation. Now, this could be an unwise decision you made by being with them, or it could be an unwise decision. It's an unwise decision for them because they lost you now, and you got sudden well, and you you got love, and it was false, and now you found out. Mm -hmm. Yep, the secrets and the deception came out. They not having no good luck at all. Because they was trying to use you. King rat or queen rat. They was trying to copy you. And they kicked you out of their house. Negative thoughts. Neg possibly negative thought patterns. And this person was just treating you cold. Okay. And you just, you just don't have the strength to deal with them no more. So you ended this marriage. But you're still treating them with love and kindness because you're so happy they can't possibly make you mad. <laughs> with all this fucking wealth out here. Like, oh yeah, go on and cheat. Go on and cheat. I'm going to go buy me a new so-and-so. I'm going to get me a new car. <laughs> all them times you, you know, I was asking you for a ride. You couldn't give me a ride. Your friends and your family was more important than me. I, cl I got the clarity now. Even though you did me dirty. Laugh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You laugh. Because now, no matter what they do, they can't make you mad. They can't. They can't make you mad. Because you got all this money. You don't care if they do flaunt women up in your face or men. You got this money. Yep, you're at peace. There's hope again. You have no passion for them. No sex. So, you happy? They apologizing. You ended the marriage. You got this sudden wealth. You ain't having sex with them. 
but they mad because you, you you're not having sex. They're they're mad. See the the passion the passion stone came on top of the, the bad thoughts. So they having bad thoughts because you ain't having sex with them, but you being kind to them, you showing love to them, and that's fucking tearing them up. It's ripping their asshole wide open because you're still the sweet, kind, generous person you was with them, even though you got this money. Your your the, the whole thing what got them shook is you may have found out about whatever it was you found out and you accepted it. You accepted the fact, okay, this this ain't gonna work with me and him or me and her it ain't gonna work. So you started working on yourself. You healed. Some of you still with this person, but you still healed, and you got this money. Some of you ain't with this person and you got this money and they see it. Okay? And they trying to apologize. And you you could have accepted their apology out of the kindness of your heart and everything. But you still didn't give them like the energy that you usually give them. They're not getting that. You usually would share with them. They're not getting that. And you got a you got a lot of money. Divine feminine, they know if you they that you can get them a couple thousand. That's why they sitting here sick. But they ain't telling you. <laughs> sick. <coughs> <coughs> See, because they took the risk trying to dim your light. They sat and desired to dim your light. They sat, sat and had all sorts of negative thoughts on how to dim your light. Now they're apologizing to you. Now, like I said, Divine Feminine, this could be your lover, this could be your spouse, this could be a family member. But whoever it is, they can't see you on social media no more. You done blocked all that shit. You deactivated your page. I don't think... You deleted it. I think just you may have deactivated it. You just don't have the strength to deal with it no more. You said you're not going to deal with it no more. <coughs> Look how my car is. Here. <coughs> Look how my You just don't have the strength to deal with this no more. Some secrets and shit came out, some sort of deception. This person never gave you nothing. They they never gifted you anything. They was not a gift to you. You started, you bought your own gifts. And look at him, he mad. Look, he mad. Now his money ain't flowing right. And you being blessed by the universe for being in this little funky ass, fake ass marriage. Mm-hmm. This is going on for somebody right now that you're getting out of this mental imprisonment because they didn't show no concern for you. Now they have a negative thoughts because you found out that they was false. Yep. And you're still looking towards your, your family and your stability and your happiness. They can't gossip and talk shit no more. This person was being a snake, them and all of their little, they little temptations. But they didn't want you to end it with them. Mm hmm the people in the community even know that this person didn't want things to end with you and now they're trying to text you and you're not responding because they kicked you out of the house yep and you got this sudden well this was an unwise decision what they did now they feeling confined or captured like they thought you was the bird in the cage but they trapped they sell yep they wanted you to be in despair. Now they're going through a storm. They're under spiritual attacks. They're in competition. Yeah, the competition because that money you got, they can't compete where they don't compare. Their money ain't compared to yours now. Mm -hmm. You held this person in high honor, but they didn't put in no toil and labor in this relationship. And you kept going back and forth with them, but you ain't going back and forth with them no more because this person was trying to use you. Mm-hmm. 
they tried to anchor you down they was doing some sort of spell work against your money and all they did was blow their money away they was doing spell work um, for you to be in love with them yep all this dark ass shit upside down cross breaking your heart spell work on your money you had no choice because they was trying to use you now you can laugh at this shit laugh at them divine feminine put it in the comments laugh at their ass laugh at their ass because they ain't having no good luck right now mm. and either you didn't do enough research on them or they didn't do enough research on you some sort of court papers coming this person wasn't going down the pathway when the right pathway when it came to you and this could be a prince charming just take what resonates and leave the rest okay divine feminine but all in all baby you got set and well and that's that's the end of story so if this reading resonated with you then please like share and subscribe to my channel all right peace